and welcome to the last Perot show of 2008. Can you believe that, Tendai? It's amazing how time flies. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking in the morning that, where does the time go? Yeah. Only just recently, in, in January 2008, we were talking about future Perot plans show, for the year. Future plans. Show. And now we're talking about the last uh, Perot show of 2008. We yes. are going into 2009. Yeah, it's amazing how time flies. Anyway, um, I have with me here Tendai Madondo. She's a Zimbabwean living in Tala. And she's contesting the 2009 county council election in Tala, Dublin 24. Then, I, let's get down to today's business. Absolutely. Coming up on today's show, it was a celebration of diversity and colors as the Igbo Union Cork celebrated their New Year festival in August. And as usual, Pero Show was there to bring you the most exciting moments of the event. So please enjoy the show. My name is Peter Ogina, and I remain your host. The event, which played host to eminent dignitaries, started with a prayer by Pastor Ulogbara. Oh, we are asking you that this very occasion, Lord, we bring a lot of changes in the lives of people, of God, and in our guests in general. Take your gift of glory for answered prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. This was followed by the Nigerian National Anthem. Traditional breaking of cola knots was performed by the president of the Igbo community, London. Culturally, cola knot is very important to the Igbos. It is a symbol of peace and respect to the elders. In his welcome speech, the chairperson of the Igbo Union Cock, Mr. Chima Obi, welcomed the guests and went on to explain the significance of the New Yam Festival. Of a new planting season and the end of a planting season. The significance of the festival is to show respect for our modern crop in Igbo land, the Yam. And we here in Cork have called you all here together to come and celebrate with us this festival of brotherliness, oneness, and will I say happiness. We have come here to celebrate with you all and the host community here in Ireland what we are normally done at home. We call our friends and relatives and everybody comes and we have plenty to eat and to do. We might we might not be able to come now for you here today but we will make sure that we will have other substitutes for you to have a feel of what it would have been if we were back home in Nigeria. So I seize this opportunity to thank all of you who have traveled miles to come here to celebrate with us. It shows solidarity. It's a sense of brotherliness and a sense of love. Series of entertainment were lined up to entertain the guests. Nigerian ambassador, Mrs. Kema Chikwe, 
paid special tribute to the sources of the Irish economy and the hospitality of the people. She went on to acknowledge the tremendous contributions of Nigerians to the growth of the Irish economy. There is an added vibrancy that comes from multiculturalism. The social phase becomes deeper and wider with the introduction of new languages, cultures, foods, fashions, fabrics, art, and experiences. But real challenges remain, and this is where organizations like the Igbo Union Corp must come in to play an important role to interface with the host Irish community, educate them on the positive benefits of immigration, and to showcase your wonderful culture and activities. You must show your Irish hosts that you come from a rich and humane tradition, a tradition that has beauty and civilization, a tradition that can contribute towards making Ireland a better place. Reliable and credible Nigerian and other multicultural organizations here in Ireland should encourage our people to participate in the process of to evolve a sustainable strategy for integration in your host communities, thinking strategically about integration. You must make better efforts to get involved in your local community activities here in Ireland, such as gardening football, running, etc. I want to also take this opportunity to commend the Irish government for its recent appointment made last year of a Minister of State for Integration, as this hopefully points to a shift in focus from admission to incorporation. I want to use this opportunity to commend and appreciate the tremendous efforts of the Chairman of the Igbo Union Ireland, Cork Chapter, Mr. Chimobi Oji, and his executive for his role and foresightedness in celebrating the New Year Festival here in Cork. Finally, I call on all of you to be good ambassadors for our country, involving yourselves in only those areas that will promote and enhance the good image of Nigeria. Olivinos Ayanwu, the president of the Igbo community London, used the occasion to enlighten the audience on the socio-political values of the Igbo people. Viewing has been very complex. Compared to many other areas of Africa, their government sets is jointed to some. At the bottom level of their government, there is a common and distant policy concerning representation. Within the community, if you do not have a representative to share your views, I'm afraid they are not heard. It is a kind of democracy that has survived British influence from various contexts. Representations are the Community level is maintained equally as each tries to contribute to the sources for that the community in its task. In turn, all rules and regulations made within each village and community traditionally are only applied to the village. The laws stay within the walls in which they were created. The high point of the event was the Iwaji ceremony 
and the presentation of the New Young Festival by Chief Senator Ben Obi, the Ojeli Bozi one of Oka. <laughs> Following the presentation, a special gift was presented to the senator by the chairperson of Igbo Union Cork and his executives for his commitment and support to the union. with Douglas Unameka, the secretary of the Igbo Union Island Cup Charter. We are still here celebrating the second edition of the New Young Festival. Douglas, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I know. My question is, do you think this is, you know, helping or this is a way of integrating into the Irish system? My explanation to your question uh, is yes. It helps us to integrate into the society in which we live. If you look at the event, you will see Irish people, English people, German people, people from different uh, countries. They are well presented here. Other African people that are not necessarily Nigerians, Nigerians that are not necessarily Igbos. You know, so when you talk about integration, it's, it's a comparison. So if you look at the event, everybody is actually represented. So it helps us not only to sell our culture, not only to show that we inherited some culture from our uh, 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 forefathers, but it also helps us you know, to reach out to people, to be proud of being identified you know, with our culture. We are highly proud. And it does, in all ramifications, uh, help to integrate.
my name is Chima Oji, and I'm the chairman of the Igbo Union Highland Cork chapter. I do know that the, set, the New Year celebration is meant to foster integration and unity between among the Igbos and Nigerians in general. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is happening with, with yeah. using this medium? You see, wherever you have a cultural display, I think what goes on is a cultural exchange. And when you have cultural exchanges like this, where people come and see, you, you will now see the similarities between this celebration and maybe a celebration in your own culture. And it fosters integration and oneness, which is all what we are looking up to you know, in this new world. The ambassador could not resist the urge to join her countrymen and women on the dancing floor. viewers. I'm here with uh, Senator Ben Obi and I understand that this very celebration is meant to unite Nigerians and the Igbo people in particular. So what would you, what message would you send out to people who are not here, the Igbos in particular and Nigerians as a whole? You noticed in the course of the event that the representatives of the Yoruba community, the Northern community were called upon but well, they didn't call the Edo people, though. Well, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that was not so. But yeah, it, it was, you know, it's the population that yeah, really yeah. counts. So what I'm trying to say is that there is that understanding. Yeah. You know, and it is there. It is leave it. 
and uh, we can all just but wish that they continue in that in that uh, manner and make sure that they relate to all our brothers and sisters out here. I mean, it's not only Igbos, Yorubas, or houses, all the other tribes, you know, whenever, no matter how little they are, they should join hands together and participate together in whatever they are doing. Yeah. That is the way to promote the greatness of our country. Yeah. Tell me one of the importance of the roasted yam. Yam in general, in Igbo land, is a very important dish because we make so many things with it. Uh, with it. Like for nursing mothers in Igbo land, uh, when a woman gives birth, she has to give, she has to be given what they call GIY is pepper soup made pepper soup made with yam, and uh, you have what they call unsala and inriji. Uh, the unsala and inriji. Any woman that gives birth in Igbo land and is not giving that is not happy because that is what they say. Congratulations. Yeah. Like okay. yeah. Not only the yam, but there are some spices that are added into the yam that made it nourishing for the preg for um, a nursing mother that help you kind of. Um, Take away the clean you up, it cleans you up, cleans you, it cleans you up. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. At least when you see anybody that marry you, but any time you give birth, you'll be expecting the yeah. The it's a kind of a special yeah. gift. Ibo kwenu. Yeah. Ibo kwenu. Yeah. Ibo kwenu. Yeah. Ibo kwenu. Yeah. On that note, we've come to the end of the show. We've dined, we've danced, we've made friends. You can see there were more than 14 dishes made out of yam. And the cultural display was fantastic. It was wonderful. In fact, I can't even describe it. And then you have different colors of people, diverse, you know. You know, this, celebra this was a celebration of diversity at its best. So what can I say? It's just to say, we have come to the end of the show. Yeah. Where viewers, that was the end of the New Year celebration in Cork. Now we are back to the Peril Show studio. And we are back with Tendai Mandondo. Tendai, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy the show? It was absolutely brilliant, All yes. Right. Okay. And now, back to the issue of Peril Show in 2008. Would you believe that we are now eventually at the end of 2008 and this is the end, the last program for Peril Show? It's absolutely amazing how time flies. Just mm -hmm. only in January 2008, we were talking about Parrot Show, Miss Nigeria Island. We were talking about Africa Day on the 25th of May. We were talking about many, many, many events um, during the year. And I have to say, 2008 was very eventful for Parrot mm -hmm. Show. Yeah. And well done to you. And tell me two of the, your most interesting uh, programs on Parrot Show. Yeah, you know yourself the program that I presented on, which was Men Against, Men against domestic, domestic Violence, violence. which was meant to mark Africa Day. Mm -hmm. And um, there was huge response, you know, to that. And um, there was huge discussion in relation to the impact of domestic violence, particularly on children. Another amazing event would have been the Miss Nigeria Island. It was absolutely phenomenal in terms of attendance and the impact and the mm -hmm. women there were absolutely gorgeous and they were very great. elegant and yeah. uh, I'm actually looking forward to um, another Miss Nigeria Island next year yeah, 2009. Yeah. Tell me about uh, yourself now. I know you'll be contesting for the uh, county council election in 2009. You'll be re representing the Tala, is it the Tala South now? Tala South, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, Exciting Tala times ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm very happy to be representing my own constituency mm -hmm. and standing up for the issues that they do believe in. And, mm. um, you know, it's going to be really exciting in 2009. Yeah. The elections are in actually June. All right, Don't in June. Don't forget that. Okay, Have okay. you registered to vote? Yeah, I'm registered. I'm registered. Um, tell me, uh, what's the response from the locals? You know? It has been really mixed. Um, largely, people are very excited about a migrant woman coming out, mm. representing the local communities. So, mm. yeah, the response has been very good with the support of Parrot Show and, yeah. um, you know, many other community NGOs supporting us. Yeah. So. You, you know, this is Christmas time, and the spirit of Christmas is going all over the world and over everybody. So if you were to send out a special message now to Zimbabweans and people watching the program, what will you be telling them, looking at it from the point of view of Christmas? Unfortunately, not many Zimbabweans in country are celebrating Christmas is, is in, a, in a privileged way as much as we are doing here. So my heart goes out to them. Um, and I want to appeal to people out there that continue to support Zimbabweans by supporting the NGOs that are working with people on the ground to bring them water, food and blankets and everything else. And I want to also call on the Sadiq countries and um, Africa 
African Union countries to continue to use the leverage that they have to ensure that there's a political solution and an economic solution to the Zimbabwean crisis. Where have you asked? Um, I want to wish you a very fantastic Christmas yes. celebration and a most memorable New Year. And I want to say that when we do come back, this is going to be the last parachute program of 2008, like we said before. But I want to say that when we do come back on air in January, we will still be on Ben Television Channel 104. That's where we are now, and that's where we continue to celebrate you and celebrate who you are.